Uh, there's a big concern today that a lot of kids have been put on drugs for ADD and uh, some psychotropic drugs, and, and they hear in the newspaper that some kids have died from things like Ritalin and Concerta, but is that really because of some underlying heart condition, or is it greater than this the normal group that maybe some kids would just have a problem that we don't know about? Are these drugs safe or unsafe? This has become an incredible controversy, which essentially started in Canada. Um, everything you do in medicine is risk-benefit. Unfortunately, this whole scare about what started with Adderall has been blown out of proportion, in my opinion. If a child really, really needs the medication, and I say that with a lot of enthusiasm, because many, many children today are on medication that certainly when I was younger and certainly when I was in training, we would not use. But when a child really needs the medicine because he can't achieve in school, can't concentrate, he's got behavioral problems, then certainly these drugs are clearly indicated and very safe. It is really, I believe, not necessary that every child that goes on one of these medications has to have cardiac clearance by a cardiologist. There's no reason why a pediatrician who's well-trained can clear the child to take the medication. So the answer to the question is, it is overused. Every child that's got a little behavioral problem or lear a little learning disability is on these medications. So in general, I'm opposed to putting any child on it, but kids that really need it and it benefits should be on it and it can be used safely. Uh, if the kid had a history of, say, hypertension and was part of these drugs, is there an increased risk from these drugs? I think a lot of the risk is what we call a theoretical risk, meaning that there's always a small infinitesimal risk that something in the child's makeup could interact badly with the medication. But as I said before, risk versus benefit. If the child is not functioning appropriately, then obviously you have to weigh that finite, minuscule risk of a problem versus having a child performing badly in school, having behavioral problems, so that the truth of the matter is if a child has, even if a child has some underlying heart disease and is followed by a cardiologist and these drugs are necessary for the child's well-being, just like any other medicine, it can be used safely. Thank you, Dr. LaCourte.